So Silver City was planned very well. Uh, it was a CMAR project. Uh, we did it in three GMPs. This final GMP, uh, which has uh, been selected as the project of the year, it was pre-planned out in pre-construction by uh, Brian Rodriguez, John Culley, uh, Benito Gonzalez helped with that, Felipe Luna helped set it up for success. There were a lot of opportunities built into the project and the team was able to capitalize throughout it all. I think what was special about this project and about this project team is they literally took it from its inception, you know, did the pre-construction themselves, you know, did the buyout themselves, went and built the project and were able to hit all those basic metrics, the schedule, the quality, the safety, and the financial success, they did all of that, but the way they did it was different. It was Benito Gonzalez's real sort of first uh, time at bat as a project manager. John Culley had PM'd the previous GMP, and John you know, volunteered to stay involved and help sort of provide some oversight, some guidance with, with Benito and some support. Um, but Benito really flourished and took off. It was, I think, easier jumping into it because Scott, Felipe, and John Coley were all a part of the previous phases. Um, so they knew, you know, expectations of the owner and the architect, and they were, they were able to share that information with me, so. Felipe, he did the, the second GMP uh, for Silver City and did a great job there and just really shifted into another gear on this third GMP. A huge part of it is having Felipe in Silver City. Yeah. Like, if he just, he's taking the reins and he's he's tackling everything that's going on on site, even off the site, but there's the communications there, the teamwork's there. It's, I think I feel like we're clicking on all cylinders. Scott Gamboa, you know, the project coordinator on the project, um, he was involved in, in all the GMPs. The increase in knowledge and experience that he's gained is absolutely noticeable. The support staff out on site, Miguel Gutierrez has been instrumental in supporting Felipe. Um, and you know that that shows a teamwork and a camaraderie out there, which has led to the efficiencies that has been gained on the project. Well, Miguel's my carpenter out here, but he's been also like my foreman, if you would say, uh, my eyes on the field. And uh, having a guy like Miguel out here helping you out do all that stuff um, makes a big difference for the project. You know, uh, Felipe is a good guy. You know, just being here in Silver City, I've learned a lot of new things. He's taught me a lot of new things. I uh, ask him questions. If I don't know anything, I'll ask him. He'll teach me. It's just been a good learning experience here. And I think the, the thing that matters most is communication. You know, you got to have that communication with your team. And we got like group uh, messages. And sometimes it's silly stuff. And sometimes it's, you know, just being informed on what's going on with the project. And we're in pretty much constant contact. I mean, a couple times a day, we have weekly meetings. Everybody catches up. And I don't know, we're, we're all friends. If we don't have anything to talk about work wise, we call each other to see what's going on, so. We were all on the same page. That's what it was. Like, we knew what the goal was, how to get to that goal, you know, and I think we did good with that. I'm, I'm definitely proud of the team. Yeah, I'm glad I'm part of it. The renovations done at the theater, the lobbies, the hallways, um, the restrooms, all just give a quality of life increase to it. And, um, and I think the community is going to be very happy with it. Once we got the face on and, and that sign up, and those two huge canopies have uh, upward lighting that shines up into them and they look really neat at night. That's when we finally knew or, you know, we made a big addition to the, the school. Being out here for almost two years now and just seeing how this uplift to the school itself has like brought the, you know, the moral up in the students and, you know, just having the, having that feeling I like come to school, you know, to a nice school, it's, it's, I think that's been the biggest, the biggest milestone that I've liked about this project, so. You know, just want to thank that team for what they did and how they executed. You know, it wasn't the biggest project that HB Construction has, so, you know, it wasn't this big glamorous thing where everybody's talking about and paying attention to all the time. And they just quietly went about their business and took care of business and provided a client with a really high level of service. With everything we're trying to accomplish at HB Construction, this project did all of it. Yeah, just extremely happy, extremely pleased, and 
I think it's very well deserved.